Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about basic local alignment search tool, which is commonly known as BLAST. There are different variants of the BLAST program, including BLAST P, BLAST N, BLAST X, T BLAST N, etc. and etc. Most commonly, BLAST P and the BLAST N are used. The BLAST P, which is also known as Protein BLAST, is used to search the protein databases, while BLAST N is also known as Nucleotide BLAST, is used to search the nucleotide databases. It's worth mentioning here that the BLAST program is based on the word algorithm. And in the regular lectures, we have talked about the word algorithm in detail. In this tutorial, we are just going to talk about how to use the BLAST program. To get an access to the BLAST program, you need to click on this link. And when you will click on this link, you will land to the next page. And here you can see the different types of the BLAST program which are available here. In this tutorial, we are going to use the Protein Blast. So we will click on this Protein Blast tab. And when we click on this Protein Blast tab, we will jump to the next page, which is dedicated for the Blast P. Here in this box, we will paste our protein sequence, which we want to search in the, in, in the protein databases. So we will copy our protein sequence and we will paste it here in this box. You can also upload the protein sequence in the form of a FASTA file, but this is again an optional one. You either you can uh, paste your sequence or you can upload your FASTA file here. The job title is not mandatory, but it, it's always good to give the job title. Our protein is P53 human protein, so we have given a job title P53 human. The next option is very important. Here you are going to select the database in which you want to search the homologs of your protein. Now right now by default the non-redundant protein sequence database is selected and most of the time the searches are going to be done by selecting this non-redundant protein sequences database. But sometimes we are not interested in the non-redundant database, we are interested in some specialized databases. For example, if I'm interested to uh, find out the structural homologs of my protein sequence, in this case, I will click on this drop down menu and I will select the protein data bank. Now, you can also change your select the most appropriate database depending upon your study, but we are not going into the details of each database is here. Here in the, in the, in the next uh, tab, you can select the organism specifically in which you want to keep your, uh, keep your searches confined. For example, if I'm only interested to see the homologs of my protein sequence in humans, so here I will write down the Homo sapiens. Now this time only the uh, sequences which are uh, homologs to my protein sequence in the humans, they will appear in the search results. We can also exclude the organism by clicking on this exclude button. Uh, well, if, I, if I will click on this exclude button, so the uh, searches will not be done in a homo sapiens sequences. The homo sapiens sequences will be excluded one. The other two options are uh, totally optional, so you can safely ignore them. At the bottom, there are the different options available to you. The one option is a quick blast, the, the normal blast, then psi blast, phi blast, and the delta blast. We will talk about these different type of the blast program later on in this course. But it is highly recommended to you to use this blast P option, which is by default. It is not recommended to you to use the quick blast program. And why? Because the specificity and the sensitivity of the quick blast program is normally compromised. So it's highly recommended that if you have a time to use the BLAST-P program, but if you are in a hurry, so then you can use the quick BLAST program, but you should be careful when evaluating the results. After selecting all of these options, you can click on this BLAST button and your search will be started. If you look at the bottom, so you have, uh, you can see the uh, algorithm parameter option. Here in this algorithm parameter option, if you click on this plus tab, so then you can see the different algorithm parameters are open here. We will highly recommend it to you not to change these parameters and go by default. If you will change these parameters, then it will affect your search results. So it will be good to go by default. So simply click on this blast button and when you will click on this blast button, your search will be started and you will land to the next page and it will let you know that how much time it will take to complete. So this page will be, ref this page will be refreshed after a few seconds. When your search will be done, so you will have a page like this 
and here you can actually find it out that the homologs of your protein sequence which are already present in the databases. For example, I'm going to have an idea that this one, the cellular tumor antigen P53 isoform B is a homolog of my protein sequence present in the database. And similarly, all of them are the databases. So the BLAST program actually searched the 100 sequences for me. You can actually see it here, the 100 sequences for me, which are related to my sequence, which are the homolog of my sequence. Now the evaluation of these results is very critical. Keep it into mind that the sensitivity and the specificity of the BLAST program is not very high. There is always a false positive results and there is always some true positive results which are ignored by the BLAST program. So you need, you need to keep a, a good atten attention here on these results. Now normally the BLAST results are evaluated by using a E value, percentage identity and the query coverage. So let's try to explore all of them. The E value uh, normally is considered to be good when it's if, when it's below than 10 raised to power minus 6. If E value is above than the 10 raised to power minus 6, if it, uh, for example, if it is uh, 10 raised to power minus 5 or minus 4, then it's not considered to be the good value to consider the sequence as a homolog of query sequence. So normally if you have an E value 0 or less than 10 raised to power minus 6, so it means that you are going to have a true positive value. But the E value is not only the parameter where you are actually going to evaluate your result. You also need to see the percentage identity. Here we are going to have a 100% identity. It means that this sequence is 100% identical to our protein sequence. You also need to consider the query coverage. And what does it mean? It means that if I'm going to have a 100% query coverage, it means that the 100% sequence of my query is aligned during the search with the sequence present in the database. For example, in a third sequence, I'm going to have a 97% query coverage. What does it mean? It means that the 97% of my query is aligned with the sequence present in the database while the rest of the other three sequences are are not aligned. The 3% sequences are not aligned which were present in my query. So if you, if you have a query coverage very low and then it means that potentially this could be your false positive result. So the query coverage should be high, the E value should be low and the percentage identity should be high to safely declare that these sequences are the true homolog of your sequence. You can also see the alignment of your query sequence with the sequences present in the database by clicking on this alignment button. So when you will click on this alignment button, so here you can see the alignment. This is your query sequence and here is a sequence which is present in the database and you can see it here that there is a 100% identity. There is no gaps, there is a 0% gaps, there is a 100% identity. So this sequence is 100% similar with your sequence which you have submitted. Here at the bottom you can see the second alignment and here you can see there is 99% identity, uh, 90, sorry 99% identity and there is a, uh, there is, but still there is no gaps. So 99% identity means that there is some, uh, there is some substitutions here. So let's try to figure it out that where is that substitution. So, 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 so where is substitution. So here there will be a one substitution. Can you see guys? I hope so that you will see. Uh, better than me. So there is a one substitution here. I right now I can't find it out. So similarly, if you go down, so you could uh, you could have these results. Uh, one more very interesting score, which is normally associated with the BLAST result, that's a bit score. So the bit score normally for the sequences which are the true positive, they are that's higher as compared to the sequences which are the false positive results. Let's assume for a moment that I'm interested in the first five sequences. Let's assume that I'm interested in the first five sequences and I want to download all the faster sequences of these five sequences and obviously they are the true positive values. So, uh, so what I will do, I will click all of them. I will select all of them and then I will click on this download button. I will click on this download button. So then it will ask me what you want. And I'm actually requesting the database that please download the FASTA sequence. So I will click on this FASTA and after the few moments, the download will begin. And then all of the sequences, uh, uh, all of these five sequences will be downloaded into my system. So let's assume that I'm going to save them on a desktop. So let's see 
in this notepad file that all of these five sequences are downloaded or not and yes you can see there that all of these five sequences are downloaded and these are the sequences which are homologs to my query protein sequence and and later on we can use these sequences for a multiple sequence alignment and other bioinformatic analysis hopefully this tutorial will be informative for you see you next time stay, stay tuned